By the end of this video, you're gonna learn how to fix trigger finger in about five minutes. My name is Dr. Story. I'm gonna give you realistic advice based on my experience and the scientific literature. Now, trigger finger is a situation where you start to develop adhesions inside the tendon. So the tendon has a sheath that will slide and if adhesions and scar tissue build up around that tendon, you're gonna get lots of problems. The finger will start to uh, pull down. You won't be able to stretch it. Some people will get like a snapping finger. It can happen in any finger, but most commonly, it's of the ring finger. Now, there are three steps to getting rid of this problem, and if it doesn't help, then you have to go another route, which I'll tell you at the end of the video. Number one, you're gonna do Graston technique. You need to find a practitioner who knows what they're doing. It's usually a chiropractor in your area, and by the use of special Graston tools, they're able to essentially break down the scar tissue in and around that tendon sheath. And if you're able to remove the scar tissue, which is essentially the cause of the problem, then you're gonna have a lot better results with the other procedures I'm gonna talk about. The second thing that you can do to help with trigger finger is using heat and stretching. By applying a heating pad to your hand, for about 10 minutes and then stretching the actual tendon, you can have really good results in allowing that scar tissue to not develop and actually slide. So the way you would stretch the trigger finger is I would go behind the hand, grab the actual finger and start bending it just as I'm doing right here. Then you start to dorsiflex or extend your wrist and then what you can do is fully extend your elbow. And holding that position for about two minutes is what's required to get the most amount of benefit from the stretching. Now, should you stretch for 30 seconds? This is a common question. The answer is no. Two minutes is the amount that's required in order for your brain to understand the stretch reflex and allow the tissue to actually mold and change. Number three, wear a splint at night. Very often patients will have problems with their trigger finger at nighttime because they're not moving it around. So if you can get a splint to help you so that it won't, it won't get uh, to be a problem at nighttime, you'll sleep a lot better. I'm gonna put a link down below. I'm an Amazon affiliate, so I do get a small commission for it, but we can have this special uh, brace and splint sent to your door so you can start using it right away. Now, sometimes these procedures that I just mentioned do not work. And the reason why is if you wait too long for this problem to develop, sometimes you're just quite frankly too late to the party. If there's too much scar tissue, if it's been around for too long, these self-help procedures may not actually work. If that's the case, then you only have one other option. And that option is you're gonna to have to go to a hand surgeon. Very likely they will try a series of cortisone shots into the actual tendon to reduce any inflammation. And very often that irritation of just putting the needle in can actually stimulate the healing of that. The problem is that has a very poor success rate for the most part the last procedure that they can use is surgery to actually release that tendon. And I have had many patients that have had a, ended up having that surgery, and sure enough, a year and a half, two years later, the problem comes right back. So it's not the greatest solution. You wanna to get to this problem earlier. The sooner you can treat it with Graston, the sooner you can treat it with stretching, and the sooner you can get that brace and splint on your finger, the better off you're gonna be. So if you have any questions regarding this and you'd like to talk to me personally about your situation, we are offering Zoom appointments. So we can do a Zoom appointment or we can do a telephone consultation. My information is down below where you can find my website and my contact information. So if you need to get a hold of us, go ahead and do so. And lastly, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, hit the little circle right here. If you would like to learn more about what hand numbness is and what the causes are, then hit the box right down below.